I'm in question of the 12 or 13 year old male individual that allowed some yes suspicious individual to somewhat lure Jolie out of her house right during the time period or so when Jolie went missing that individual you know you, you in fact want to question him me and CC was commenting back and forth pertaining to that shouts out to your CC yeah what's good with your player player shouts out to a player <laughs> yeah but that he's in fact questionable right that that 12 or 13 year old kid that was at the park chilling out at the park that decided to allow some random stranger to use his phone yes to contact a Jolie Musa before she went missing and then was later discovered to be found dead at Woodlawn Park under some leaves right oh by the way like subscribe and the discovery channel yes the discovery channel the link is provided below so let's go also discovery app if you don't already know about that sort of thing discovery go as in the app you download and that you might want to grab and snatch that too i'm saying so yeah so who i'm i'm trying to see i'm trying to figure this out there, there's so many questions i mean all around the block when i when i mentioned back to cc I know CC gonna watch this. I know I know CC be zoning out possibly ten minutes in. I'm saying that usually say if somebody leave off if they watch the video and say they leave off after ten minutes, I'm cool with that because I usually try to drag the video as long as I can. Remember, I don't make no money or nothing off of this, but I just like to I like to do everything in long long form, long form format. So if anybody decides to leave before time or whatnot. <laughs> closing time that's cool with me but pertaining to me and cc going back and forth in the commotion conversation about jolie's charger so see cc question that jolie's charger and say her not taking the charger before she decided to leave home i'm thinking if if jolie knew she was going to norfolk virginia if she knew that she was going to go there before she left home i'm thinking she would have decided to take her charger with her I'm thinking and sensing and kind of believing. Yes, if God or the universe give information, that too, pertaining to um, if, if I'm thinking and sensing because if the family said that Joe Lee was used to taking her charger when she would leave home, then that kind of says what does that say about the individual? If you're always a type of person. That always has to have your charger. Most kids do. Have to have their charger. When you leave the house. Is to say you knew you were coming right back. And not just going off to some charger. Or not just going off to some party or whatnot, Right. So the charger stands highly questionable. Yes it does. Jolie Musa's charger. And not that young kid. But I had to throw that in before we get started. Into me questioning the kid. I had to, yes, that that loose string, in fact, yes, stands out the most. If you're going to be going somewhere and say you're used to always having your charger with you because phones do a lot of times go dead and quickly. Yes, phones, in fact, go dead quickly depending on how many years you done had the phone as well. To, to have a phone for a few years or even sometimes for a year, some, sometimes they say that the battery doesn't last as long, right? And then also, too, depending on how much you keep your phone charged. And so with Jolie, I'm thinking once again, I just said that. I had to repeat back. I don't think that she was, I don't think that she thought she was going anywhere. Somebody had to have did that as in used that to throw not only her off, but police as well with that. I, I, I can sense and believe she thought she was going back home. And that individual, that text, more than likely wasn't Jolie, and I had said that. And I think the, the her parents feel the same way about that text message coming in. That last one around 8 p.m. more than likely wasn't Jolie. I don't, I don't think that, yeah, I don't, I don't think that was her. Because what, what it will make you question is, and I said that, even that in the comment section, what that will make you question, if a child is used to taking her charger everywhere she goes when she leaves home, right? That's a habit. To form a habit is for it not to be broken. 
unless you replace it with something else, right? They say it takes 30 days to form a habit. Shouts out to Dr. Phil. <laughs> it takes about 30 days to form a habit with some people much more sooner, right? So that's the in fact question. When Jolie was out, say if at any time she didn't bring her charger, was she prone to use other people's charger? Because you can in fact do that, but it depends on the phone model as well as the charger itself. See, me and my mom, because we've been becoming more closer over the years, right? We a lot of times will get the same type of phone model just so that we can use each other's charger because I don't always want to carry a whole bunch of junk with me when I go. Chargers included, right? And so that's the reason why in case I jump in her car, all I got to do is put it on her car charger, right? But not everybody's phone can do that. So that, that has to be questioned as well. If, if she would have did that sort of thing, Jolie, be hopping in and out of people's cars or even hopping in and out of people's homes or residence or whatever, wherever she would go, even with friends, her twin would know that if she was known to use other people's chargers. Because that would point in a direction too, pertaining to whether she chose to really say leave or not, leave home or not, right? And then leave, leave the charger there as she was used to using other people's chargers. Not, ev not everybody's phone charger is going to work on your phone. That's all I'm trying to say. And so if, that's, if that wasn't a, a consistent habit of hers, behavior, that's to say that once again, for the third time I'm repeating, that's to say for the third time I'm repeating, that Jolie didn't know she was leaving. She didn't know that she was going to suppose Norfolk or whatever, that lie, that whoever set that up knew that they were going to kill her from the beginning, which could be why they lured her out the house from the beginning. See what I'm saying? You got to know who, what type of charger she was using outside of her own whenever she was away from home. That's all I'm trying to say. And if she didn't, what does that once again tell you? She, she more than likely thought she was coming right back home or something. Do people use other people's phone chargers when they try to go to a party? I just don't think. I just think that's all a lie, a game, and was a setup from the beginning. I just don't think that Jolie was going to end up in nobody's party. And I think maybe even she could have sensed that once she got to wherever she was with whoever. If they didn't just kill her, yes, whatever, right on the spot. Be even before she got a chance to even think and consider wherever they might have been taking her. It just, that does, that don't fit. So the 12 or 13 year old kid. My question is, do you think the kid who allowed a stranger to use his phone in order to call Jolie, do you think that kid changed the identity of Jolie's killer on purpose? Think about that. Did, did you, you get what I just said, as in my question? Do you think the kid who allowed the stranger, which is also the killer or whoever, if it was one or two killers, it might have been one or two people involved in this and not just one, such as an ex-boyfriend. He could have, have had somebody else there with him doing whatever. So do you think that kid who allowed a stranger slash killer to use his phone in order to call Jolie, do you think that kid changed the identity of Jolie's killer on purpose? Could that be a possibility? I'm going to, yes, I'm going to call the young kid the kid. Seeming Se Se we don't know who he is and his identity ain't out there floating online or none of that, right? I'm just going to call him the kid because that's easier for me to pronounce in the elaboration abstraction, right? Could that kid have changed the identity of the killer or the suspect? I'm thinking, okay, my question is, my question is, if the kid who allowed a killer to use his cell phone, do you think the kid's mother or father may have made the kid change the identity of the individual? Yes, the killer. According to the skin tone, do you think that that kid's mother or father made that young 12 or 13 year old kid change the identity of the killer's skin tone? Not white or black, but more lighter in place of what was it because he said that the killer was darker and yet the killer more likely was a little bit a few shades lighter that has to be questioned what 
whether darkness or lightness because see the reason why i'm asking if the if the parents made this kid change the identity of joe lee's killer that killer that used that kid's phone the reason why i'm questioning that because see yes a death could in fact stand in that such as a kid his own death that's it that's an, a proven fact if you a killer and you if you a, are a kid and you allow a killer to use your phone your cell phone and you're a minor under age right and depending on how much that kid will play at that part is to say the killer in fact seen his face remember he used his phone and not only that the phone in fact it was documented in the kid's phone yes who the actual killer called so that's history in that right so would a child's parent or would they not make their child change the identity somewhat away slightly yes yeah, so of the killer the skin tone making the skin tone appear more lighter than it was in place of being darker than it actually is i want you the viewer to question that yourself think about that let your thought processes analyze that for a second something about this in the water don't make sense and i don't mean spit with that i goes all the way against the grain let me tell you right i'm saying and digging because that that something about that is is completely yeah because see a killer a killer is going to remember a face that's more likely why he could be killing in the first place. Killers, I'm saying, and serial killers. So, okay, so if that same person that allowed the killer to use his phone, such as this 12 or 13 year old kid, a death could affect await him. That 12 or 13 year old kid, if not his own family. Because even the killer could find out even where that kid lived at. And I'm saying that because the same person, that 12 or 13 year old kid who allowed that killer to use his phone, he had to have told police. Because remember, police like to interview whether they say who they interviewed or not. Sometimes police don't always say in interviews and all that other stuff who they have in fact interviewed. They keep that stuff a lot of times on the hush and the quiet to protect people's identities, right? And I'm thinking that young 12 or 13 year old kid will be one of them because he is in fact a minor as well. Just as much as Joe Lee's ex is a minor, but that kid is a little bit too much low in age to be 12, 13 year old. Yes, for the police say to be showing his identity, that sort of thing they wouldn't want to do. They don't want they wouldn't want to put that 12 or 13 year old kid in harm's way. Right. But still a killer, if a killer knows and finds out that that kid told police who that killer was that that killer would in fact i'm think thinking that killer wouldn't more more likely go for that kid as in possibly hang around the area such as the park or surrounding area yes to to not pick fights with that young 12 year old or 13 year old kid but the killer might yes a wait on the playground or something that woodlawn park where jolie was later found dead that killer might wait right there on that park for that kid. After he done went and told police who done used his phone. Or told Joe Lee's dad who done used his phone. No, no kid's parent, once again, ain't gonna want that. That's a preventive measure as in keeping killers away from your family. So, so I'm thinking that kid lied or something. Or he's more likely lying about the identity of the killer. The kid is. That 12, 13 year old kid has to be lying. As in I can see and read through that. As into why he's lying. Because see, to, for that kid to be that age and for him not to lie is to say yes, he could be next on the list. Because see, kids are prone to go to park sometimes by themselves to even go play basketball or whatever that kid was doing while he was at the park in the first place when whoever decided to walk up to him. So to just allow a stranger just to walk up to you like that, to use your phone and to say that stranger could be anywhere out there, possibly standing even somewhere by them trees or where they left Jolie's body, trying to snoop in on the kid to, yes, to issue some payback over what was told. 
that sort of thing a, a mother and father will yes want to stay away from them they don't, they don't want to get tied up so they'll just have a kid lie and say well you know that we saw whoever and he used you know the our kids phone or whatnot or the kid let's have our son or daughter or whoever let's have our son make up this lie and say yes that the killer was much more darker than he was and then we ain't got to worry about nothing we ain't got to worry about our safety nothing we ain't got to worry about getting no bodyguards nothing that would in fact push everything away from us yes in retaliation because you don't know how killers think and serial killers and if that kid was white i'm thinking he would more than likely be terrified in itself if it, if it was found out yes later on or somewhere around the time after the phone was used by him i'm saying once joe lee was found dead that was all over the news and all that other stuff right a kid ain't gonna want no part of that that's that's terrifying in itself and yet, once again, you have to ask, did he did he tell police specifically or did he tell Jolie's father specifically about who he allowed to use the phone? As in the time period, you want to match up the time period because to even say what I just said, as in what I just did, is to find out who did the kid talk to first. Did he talk to Jolie's parents first or did he talk to police first? Because that, that fact, factors in as well because the kid may or may not have knew that that was a killer using his phone such as after the incident done played out such as during the time when jolie first went missing and say that kid came out and got to talking to either jolie's father or the police or whatnot it's to say what in fact precisely did the kid say because if the kid came out and said that you know the the suspect killer or jolie was but he might have not known right then because remember she was missing for two weeks right if the kid didn't know right then then he could might have said you know well the guy was uh darker instead of saying that he was lighter right he could been just saying that because to not know that the person is a is a killer using your phone but you find out two weeks later after shot after a girl is found in some woods right it's to say i myself could have messed up on my own end right I mean, saying about the kid, but yet once again, I might not have because even, even for a child to say be 11, 12 years old, and then his parents being over him as in the guardians, watch keepers of him, right? Is to keep even him safe as in gu guiding him as in what to say, what not to say, right? Kind of like how discovery does me, right? Pertaining to various things, but with that is to say would the child feel leery as in him not knowing right away Jolie was dead I'm saying before it got to that point with the child just knowing that Jolie was missing say say if he was talking to police or Jolie's father and the child just was told that she was missing right right then what was his, what would his reaction be that young 12 or 13 year old boy would he be leery to get involved in that you gotta look at that because his parents once again would he be leery to come out and just identify some person that say you know whatever had used his phone in connection with that you gotta question that because see even in the courtroom even in the courtroom children are known to sometimes lie or not tell the right story for whatever reason right it could be whatever it, it could be because they they can know that a jury is going to be involved they know that judgment stands there because it be in front of a judge and have people asking questions and all that other stuff lawyers attorneys all right it's to say a child might in fact lie and so when it when it involves the law as well such as police and a child's father right Sometimes I'm thinking kids sometimes get kind of leery and even that they that they might would in fact lie or they might in fact want to feel important by telling much more. It's two sides to this. Either either that kid, 12, 13 year old will want to come out and tell everything that he's seen about that guy and which he said about the Jordans on the guy's feet feet. And that in fact met, matched Jolie's ex-boyfriend and him wearing them colored 
yes jordan's on his feet or whatnot it's two positions with that either a child will want to tell everything to feel important or a child is going to in fact feel leery and then just lie you got truth on one side and you got a lie on the other side how would a child before it's found out that a young jolie musa is dead such as killed by somebody how would a young child 12 or 13 year old hold the perspective and hearing that she's missing at that time but not dead yet would he come out and just tell everything or would he just lie because that's to ask the individual that child 12 13 years old how bold he could be or was or may not have been just enough to tell I'm trying to tell you because some kids would in fact tell everything because they they might have a love and admiration for say not only crime type of stuff but police in itself some some kids in fact become marveled by that thing of police officers and stuff like that right and so they want to help and get involved by telling everything a 12 or 13 year old kid right but if that's not the type of kid that that say 12 or 13 year old was being marveled by police officers just like young kids are marveled by uh firefighters they're usually marveled by guys that are in power and all that other stuff right they'll want to help and get involved and say oh i seen this and this and this and that right but if an individual is not really into that type of thing and they feel leery of that uh not knowing what could happen to them and them telling because that even points to their parents as well as in them parents telling them possibly what not to say you don't know how that 12 or 13 year old might have been raised by their parents as in what they were allowed to say and what not to say because that's going to affect too what that child tells police i'm saying how the child more than likely that 12 or 13 year old how they were raised in their everyday life by their parents if if they have the type of parents that say well don't say this don't do that you know this is between the family this is between us then that's to say that that type of child will more than likely in fact lie about the identity of a suspect killer of jolie's that just has to be said which is why i don't like political correctness i don't but in order to protect the child's identity more like you more likely yes once again i'm going back to the beginning you being a parent mother father of that 12 or 13 year old you're going to want to lie to push everything away so that your whole family is protected but i i don't like political correctness because it in fact gets in the way which could be why we have a lot of unsolved crimes and and unsolved missing persons and all that other stuff and possibly unsolved death pertaining to missing persons because to to be too politically correct is to say you can't say anything that's on your mind and say anything that needs to fall out your mouth that even the god or the universe might in fact want you to say and tell other people not everybody's going to do that because they want to fake the funk and be stuck in some political correctness you can only go so far on that because to not be bold is to say there you stand as a failure not being bold enough even in the input but yeah that that young 12 13 year old uh yeah the lie or something has to be there it does or something pertaining to whether joe lee whatever uh x was light or dark i'm thinking any kid will possibly lie about that so yeah so yeah you will want to question who's the kid let me see something right quick let me pose Has there been any has there been any new YouTube videos of Jolie? Cause they need to get it together over there. I'm talking about news. Hello, shouts out to Peggy Fox. Wherever she living. <laughs> Somebody tell Peggy Fox, call me. I'm saying. She be everywhere. Oops. I just put in Jolie Fox. You see that? Till if somebody tell Peggy Fox to call me, what I do is I I hook CC up with a job over there at Fox or something like that. I'm saying because then CC ain't got to deal with the whole headache of working for somebody like yes over at Oprah Winfrey because the work 
yes with anything oprah or any is a headache in itself not oprah no just the the people and all type of stuff that you deal with not not the corporation itself pertaining to corporate and discovery where all ties in not that just individuals that's on the outside that just be oh my goodness i talk too much i know <laughs> i sh i should it shows that i ain't fake what I, when i'm willing to say pertaining to oprah I, I can never be fake at that as in the headache of what you would in fact deal with because stalkers didn't i say that come with that it's all type of stuff that you deal with people threatening you why would you want to come be threatening me and everybody else you, you some some of oprah's followers are not i mean they play and they act all nice and sweet and all this other stuff but they be doing stuff that is just not right to go untold is to match it by telling <laughs> which is why i'm saying the bigger the celebrity the more headache you're going to have to deal with as in working for them look at all the logos right there that's everything discovery in fact sells right up above my head there's in fact headache there, there, you know what would be so funny is how people be wanting so bad to get in the industry and once they get there and get there yes in the industry now all of a sudden they, they look like the most unhappiest people that's in fact what happens because see to do something to want to do something is in fact be placed there right but you're going to have times when you're not fully the happiest right i'm saying because that's a human level to not always feel happy 24 hours a day you gotta in fact feel like a human real human being as in you're having challenges and situations that sort of thing in fact has to be faced and yet the set industry on top of it such as not the people that you work with possibly so but not fully them but individuals that's on the outside of the industry and how they come to you begging for stuff and trying to dominate and domineer your life and all this i mean it'd be a lot of stuff that you deal with and them dragging you and all this it'd be all type of stuff that you deal with and some people and well majority of people in the industry don't talk about it depends celebrities would in fact get on on yes twitter and some places in fact and speak about the stuff in which i'm speaking about but it's not always a happy place industry is what i'm trying to say right and so when people want to go work for big name people they don't or big corporations people be want to work for such as working in mass media they don't know what all they would in fact be getting themselves into and yet i can tell you some stuff sometimes it ain't always cracked out so what you think it is to be cracked out did i just say cracked out it's not always cracked up to what you think it is to be is is what i'm trying to say it's going to in fact be a headache like every other job that's just the fact of reality that's what anything i was trying to see something but yeah pertaining to um let me look at something right quick and why did i say that because sometimes it helped to when some people don't want to oh peggy fox when some people don't want to work for say a local type of station such as like a peggy fox or working wherever she works at some people don't want to work those type of jobs they just want to go and run and work for mass media and yet what they don't know is the headache that in fact awaits them there's headache even dr phil somebody matter of fact somebody should in fact ask dr phil why on his youtube account you can't leave no comments <laughs> see what i'm saying there, there's things i'm just a recognizable figure enough for me to come out my mouth and say pertaining to industry stuff or how stuff be done and sometimes there's yes the headache behind the scenes pertaining to what you got to deal with because remember you're dealing with hundreds and millions of people and billions if you're oprah or whatnot right and so with dr phil yes he in fact needs to be asked that sort of thing because to be a dr phil and run a youtube account is to say he's not always there other people are in fact working for him posting videos and uploading for videos for him as well as oprah winfrey yes she doesn't upload all her stuff herself there's in fact teams that do that sort of thing right but to ask dr phil why is his comment section disabled where nobody can leave a comment at all dr phil loves drama and yet he ain't trying to be i'm saying people get tired of drama they in fact get tired of drama when they work in yes in the industry so to not deal with it because dr phil is in fact a celebrity himself he's in fact a celebrity himself right 
And so to not have to deal with the petty drama is to just disable your whole comment section. But I choose to leave mine all the way open because I need to see in here. But Peggy Fox, some people don't want to work on a local the way that she works. She only has 60 followers. Is this her? I think this is Peggy. I don't think this. I don't think this is Peggy Fox official. I think Fox News is where you can more find her. Is it Fox 5 or Fox 6? Fox 5 where you can find Peggy Fox but yeah a lot of people don't want to be on the more local scene they want to be in the big but trust and believe the bigger you go the more bigger the headache listen to me when I say it which which could be why people sit on Fox News and CNN and get the screaming all on the camera I'm saying there's drama in that the effect of Fox Fox News and CNN where they're fighting and bickering back and forth some of that could in fact be part of their job and they're not telling I'm, I'm saying there's even stress level in that and I can't say no more about that so don't ask me about that as in the behind the scene because I know why that is, is even there as well Fox and CNN on the registration but yeah sometimes you do want to in fact do smaller things more local because if not you're gonna more likely be all stressed out and people are gonna be like why well, I, I heard that you got a job in the industry why you just seem so unhappy because even Jay-Z was like that when he did whatever deal with Live Nation or whatnot. He was cool in the beginning. And then after that, he started to look real unhappy. That's how it goes. <laughs> that's in fact how it goes. But that's not to say you're unhappy. It's just some of the days is just things get irritating. And then you got fans that that's irritating. It's a lot of things that go on. But yeah, rewinding back, I had to throw that in. But rewinding back to uh, pertaining to this young individual that was playing at the park. And allowed that suspect killer Joe Lee's to use his phone or whatnot, right? That's the in fact question who that kid could be. Yeah, in fact, want to question who that kid could be and why. You want to ask who he is. What was the reason for him being at the park? How consistently he would go to the park? What would he do at the park while he was there? Would, would he take other friends with him to the park? And while he was at the park, would he see things that, you know, look suspicious or something or somewhat suspicious? You, you would, in fact, want to ask all around that kid. So, yeah, I just asked that. How often did the kid play at the park? What were some of the activities the kid would do or play or play basketball or whatever he chose to do? What were the, some of the kids activities while at the park these is all vital key questions uh what all was the kid known to see what all was that kid known to see when he was at the park did the kid see all the same faces while at the park such as locals and all the rest who all would that kid see when he was at the park that goes back to consistency pertaining to how often the kid would go to the park were there were there ever any odd behaviors the kid witnessed while at the park or playground? Remember, kids have intuition as well. They do. Kids, we all were born. That's our internal GPS navigational system and questioning. Some kids bypass that because they don't know, know and understand. I used to do that, but the older I got, I start to pay attention to my intuition, right? It's there to help you. Intuition is there to guide you. Didn't I say that how many times? Oprah Winfrey will tell you that yourself. So once again, I want to repeat that. Did the kids see all the same faces while at the park, such as locals and all the rest? Were there ever any odd behaviors the kid witnessed while at the park or the playground? I'm wondering what area was that kid standing in when that gentleman or stranger killer walked up to him? What area of the park? Because, see, I want to know that what side of the park was that kid at when he allowed that man to use his phone or boy or Jolie's ex or whoever. I am keep thinking it's the ex. I'm wondering what side of the park was a kid standing on. And then Jolie's body ends up possibly maybe on the other side of the park. That's questionable as well. The pinpoint of location of where a 12, 13 year old was standing and then a, a, a child jolie i keep saying child teenager her body is later discovered in the woods because that that's to say jolie 
it does make you question because I, I question all type of people. They got to stay pissed. Let them haters stay pissed. Because I'd be wanting to know, could Joe Lee's body have been dragged? Because to put up a conversation and say, okay, Joe Lee, I'm going to lure you out the house. You just don't know I'm going to lure you and I'm a killer. Possibly just could have been the first time whoever killed Joe Lee. That could have been their first killing. And yet later on might be more. I said that how many times? But I really be wanting to know that that individual stand there holding a conversation with Joe Lee face to face after they lure her out the house. Did they stand in the park talking to her face to face? Or did they kill her somewhere else and say, carry her dead body over to the woods and then just dropped it off in the woods? I be wanting to know all that because I'm a highly visual person. I see it all. I see everything. <laughs> Don't ask me because I might just tell and flip you off in the process with even that. I'm saying because see, how are you having a conversation with Joe Lee, their killer? Come check me. You might get put to death. I said that before. Even if nobody else, even if somebody else has something to do with this and it wasn't Jolie's ex, I will put them to death as well. I don't play. I, I ain't fearing nothing as God is the witness universe, which could be why I'm standing here on this platform saying what I'm saying. Just as vocal as cool because I don't fear nothing. When it's time, my, when it's my time to die, I die off like everybody else. But I, I want to know how, how was Jolie placed in those woods? Because what, how would that look for somebody to say, come here, Jolie, come over here where I'm at. I'm standing right on the edge of some woods. Come have a conversation with me. So that's a standing question. Was she actually dead and carried to the woods as in dropped off, as I said before, in the woods and left under some leaves? That, that has to be questioned. Where was a conversation with Jolie started and where does it where does it end? As in where does she take her last breath? Was she carried? I would just love to know. I'm sure her mom and her dad and stepfather would all love to know. And possibly that uncle as well. So when it comes to this kid, this 12, 13 year old kid. I'm wondering who were the random strangers? Or were there ever any random strangers that 12, 13 year old kid could ever have seen? Could any random strangers have have ever asked to use that kid? Yes, ask. Could any random strangers ever ask that 12, 13 year old kid if they could use his phone at the park or anywhere else in public? I would love to know even that. As in how often that kid need to stop allowing strangers to use his phone. Because allow the wrong stranger to use your phone as it end up with an $85,000 Sprint bill or something crazy Verizon bill or something all the rest. You don't just let random people use your phone. That's a, that's a lesson on his end, that kid allowing a killer to use his phone and yet him not knowing who that individual was. I don't let people use my phone. When they, when they say, well, can I use your phone? Uh, no. I don't know you because first off, a person could ask you to use your phone and then they walk up. And if it's an iPhone that everybody wants, they'll just walk off with it as in steal it and run down the block. And there you go with no phone. That's why I don't let people use my phone or they can be involved in some crime or some murder. And they leave you to they leave you to be arrested because see to to listen to me when I say this, never allow people random people to use your phone. People got to pay attention. Don't allow people in public to use your phone. I don't care who it is. Tell them to go use somebody else's phone. That's what I do. Because, see, for this child to be 12 or 13 and somebody dial in on Joe Lee's phone from his phone is to make that 12 or 13-year-old look more suspect. That's why you don't let random people use your phone. You, in fact, will become a suspect by even doing that. I'm saying whether you're much because even children are known to kill is what I'm children are in fact known to kill as in using snapchat and using other services and all that other stuff acting like they're somebody older actor like acting like they're this and this and that and then they lure somebody out of the house despite them being much more younger and doing foolish activity yes and then acting like somebody done use their phone and then they put a young girl to death and then come to find it find out it's a child that did it but more than likely, this young kid, more than likely 12, 13 year old, didn't do it. But that's what I'm saying. The lesson of why you don't let it. Don't ever let anybody use your phone in public. 
that's not going to work unless they're real close to the family and you know them personally. I don't do that. I, I don't do that because I know at any time somebody can take my phone and just run off down the block. And there I got no phone and then they got access to all my contacts and all that other stuff. Because some people is in fact, uh, they can have accesses and bypass security even when you got a password on your phone. Enough to be looking all in your stuff. Some people in fact pay their bills and stuff online through their phone. Which mean they stay logged in on their phone enough to pay their bills. That's why you don't let people use your phone. No stranger or none of that. That's a lesson to that kid. He needs to learn. Don't don't be letting people use your stuff like that. You don't do that. Because see if police wasn't on their game. If police wasn't on that on their game. They would more than likely have considered that 12, 13 year old as a killer of Jolie. And him possibly lying, saying somebody else to throw police everybody else off to make it seem like somebody used his phone by him lying, coming out, saying that somebody else used his phone. That's why you don't do that. To not get dragged in somebody else's situation is to leave that alone by saying, no, I'm sorry, you can't use my phone. You got to ask somebody else and let them deal with that. Somebody older. No grown man adult should be walking up or whoever, 16, whatever. He shouldn't be asking to use no kid's phone. That phone should in fact be designed for that child and his mother or his father to stay in contact. If you're 12, 13 years old, I'm saying no older individual should be coming to use your phone. And parents need to hear this as well because that's a lesson. Be teaching your kids not to allow somebody much more older, say 15, 16, to be using a phone, your kid's phone. That's not going to work. Because crime happened in that. And it could be a drug situation. And there you go. Your kid go off somewhere. Let somebody use their phone. And then they get caught up in some drug deal. Or something like that. That they had nothing to do with it. No. Sorry. Don't do that. I'm wondering. Were there times when that 12 or 13 year old kid. When his parents was a, were around at any time. When other people would ask to use his phone. You see what I'm saying? Were there any times when that 12 or 13 year old kid was around his parents and random people just walked up and asked, could they use his phone? That's an issue. That's in fact a safety issue. Because to say that somebody will walk up on a kid and ask to use his phone while his parents weren't there, is to say what else could that individual have done to that boy being 12, 13 years old? You want to be on the watch out and look out of your kids. That's possibly why they went to him being a kid because they possibly thought that that kid wasn't going to be in question, question or anything to throw off police is to go use some young random kid being a 12, 13 year old kid because more than likely police ain't going to question him. And Jolie's parents ain't going to question that 12, 13 year old kid, but you can be wrong in that. You don't know what is possibly bound to come back around on you when you ain't thinking and considering. Now, all of a sudden, it done came back around that 12, 13-year-old kid coming out the woodwork saying, well, somebody did use my phone. See what I'm saying? Stupidity on, on the end of whoever, Jolie ex-boyfriend or whoever. So, yes, the consistency of how, how much that kid played at the park because, see, to be a kid playing in the park consistently is, is to say you might, in fact, see everything. That's a wide view as itself. Wide screen of what a kid can see when they're consistently at a park. As in as in they're used to being there just enough to know who is all at that park. As in if that individual that used his phone, if they were there consistently at that park. Or even a passer buyer passing the park as that kid was leaving that park multiple times. On various days. And not on the same day of when that individual just asked to use that 12, 13 year old phone. Kid's phone. Yeah, you, you don't you don't want to do anything like that because see, being 12, 13 year old, yeah, letting people use your phone. Because if that kid was to have somebody else, didn't I say about how kids are known to use uh things and then do pranks on people because see pranks and all that is the big thing right now anyway to have a 12 13 year old and have a guy friend or somebody 
somewhere around their age or a little bit older say lure somebody out like a jolie just doing a prank or something on her and then kill her in the process and there you go don't let people use your phone and not only that don't be pranking people in a room or even stuff like that where it involved murder and all the rest that you don't want to do i wonder when it comes to preference such as going back and forth to the park that boy because see all this happened in january it's usually cold outside i'm thinking in virginia it possibly was sometimes the temperatures could be mild or slightly somewhat high or somewhat mid and then it get cold again right but I, i'm wondering what time did the kid like going to the park even in the winter time as well as in the summertime? I just would love to know how much that kid was being at that park and not only that how much that killer was being surrounding that park because see if this if this has nothing to do with Jolie's ex then, then that's to say once again a serial killer using snapchat and going undetected or something and a serial killer surrounding themselves in that area around parks and all that other stuff where kids like to be and live close to just enough to be luring them and all that that, that's why I'm asking that. But I still don't sense this stranger danger. I keep going right back to her ex-boyfriend. That's where the loose string stands out. Jolie's ex-boyfriend. So, partnership. I wonder how long, if the kid was going to the park, how long that kid would in fact be staying at the park with somebody else. I would love to know. How, how long that kid will be at the park staying there how many hours that is vital because to know how long somebody is at a park is to know what all more they can see until let me see something right quick She ain't going to come up. I just wanted to see something. She ain't going to come up. Anybody ever gone uh, Google Scholar? There's all type of things on Google Scholar. Let me let me tell you. There, there's all type of things on Google Scholar. And what you can use to your advantage to learn. See that? It looks just like Google. It's yes, it's used for all type of things. Oprah, her stuff is on here as well. There's articles, there's all type of stuff on here. It's good and vital to use for educational purposes is all I'm saying. A lot of things, you got books and all that other stuff you can find. But uh, yeah, so that is off the hook. Body built. I, I'm in question of the kid's body built. Because see, look. I just said that pertaining to you allowing people to use your phone and how you start to look suck. You, in fact, start to look suspect, right? Because, yeah, you would, in fact, do that. Letting people. Because a person like me wouldn't know whether this kid is trying to, say, throw police off. If they could have did something despite I feel that they don't. I feel that it's an ex-boyfriend, right? But to even question that kid is to once again question his body built. I question the body built of the kid at the park. Yes, his body built, his stature. Despite him giving away information pertaining to the killer that used his phone, what was the body built of that kid himself? Because some of, some of even these kids nowadays are in fact muscular or sometimes fat and sometimes even tall, right? That's not to make him suspect, but you still want to question even him at an angle going forward. So... His body built, the kid, yes, himself. Because see that, yeah, you don't know, because that that yeah, kid, kids in fact, kids in fact do kill these days, and they have been killing since the beginning of time. You can even look that up on a YouTube. I'm saying about child killers and all that. Oprah herself has in fact interviewed some of those individuals, people that that are kids and and all that other stuff 
Oops, why well, put child killer? You can put in kids who kill. This comes up the top 10 most evil children in history. There's in fact killers out here, children that walk amongst us. You just don't know that they're there. I don't take anything at face value is what I'm trying to say. I, I delve up underneath. Because see, in this, in this world, you in fact will be made to believe just about anything. What is going on with this? This ain't going to work. Let me go back. I have to get through that commercial. This is, yeah, this is in fact the top 10 most evil children in history. Look that up on Google. I just told you. people be doing all type of stuff you got you got kids they do do stuff like that prank prank people and lure them out the house and they they completely under a different profile name and all the other stuff right and yet they ain't doing it to protect themselves they sometimes be doing it to kill people you just don't know i pay attention to a lot of things in which i don't even say and then when i get to open in my mouth everybody get pissed off they in fact should right my mom is the same way, but she be pissing me off, too. Just like I piss her off. Let me skip through. Because, see, because see that to be a child, yes, not a child killer, that's usually considered, you would call those those, but I usually consider a child killer, such as a mother that kills her child or a father that kills a child, right? I go for basically saying kids who kill, right? That sort of thing is to say they have somewhat of a and of a, a adult mindset. As even I feel that those individuals should in fact be put to death. Children who kill, I'm saying. To they're not killing precisely for a reason. I'm all about living with meaning and definition when I say stuff. Like even pertaining to if you're a child and you're going to kill somebody. You should in fact have some definition up under that as in a purpose. Serving a purpose to humanity. You in fact want to kill. Yes, you would in fact want to kill somebody. Say if somebody done broke in your house and they're trying to put you in harm's way. And say you go to pull out your daddy's shotgun or rifle to kill them because they're trying to rape your sister or something. That That's real life living pertaining to that. Or say, or say a young boy somebody is doing something harmful such as breaking in the house and he by himself like i had to do and pull out a nine millimeter that's what i did i didn't have a choice but i wasn't a kid but say if a kid was at home by himself in the middle of the night and his, and his parents wasn't there that's to say he's gonna have to shoot somebody to get them out of the house because they can do anything molest him strangle him kill him right and so for a kid to not do that in the proper way is to say children like this are in fact, yes, murderers, mass murderers, serial killers and all. They need to in fact be put to death. I don't care what age it is because to know that you're going to grow up, knowing that you're going to not get a life sentence is to know you're going to grow up, lie like many of them do, lie in jail Oh, I, and hold a Bible. Oh, I'm going to church now. I done changed my life for God. And then stand in front of the judge and lie and hold the Bible up, telling how much your life is much more better just so you can serve less time. And then you get out once you're done ma fully matured and looks and all that other stuff. And yet your brain might, in fact, still be the same as to say you might, in fact, let loose by coming back out of the jails after you get older serving a little bit of time and then come out here and be killing other people and then there you go we got more serial killers now we can't even add up who's doing what because a serial serial killer done got loose as in be let loose by the system and now it's just a mess so them in fact them killers like that if they ain't killing for something meaningful or purpose to save and rescue somebody they in fact need to die all of them love and that tell the christians i said that Somebody run and tell them, them Christians, that I said that. I might, in fact, go to hell for that, and I don't even fear hell itself for that. 
because heat, heat right here is in fact scum of the earth right when I said about the school shootings and all that other stuff because look you got some of them that, that in fact had mental illness right I can understand like that kid that shot up that school when was that he shot up a school his mother died of pneumonia and I think his father died and he will be in a backyard or whatnot shooting rifles and all that other stuff that's to say he needed to be in a mental institution and not ever let out as in beat behind bars in a jail institution for life on end when i said that about that florida shooting and me saying what i said about people need not to be judging but some of these kids ain't right as in even they might need to do the same thing or just put them to death get rid of them that's what i'm getting to because the more i be looking at stuff and these killings of these kids be doing stuff. I'm saying them not serving long enough time is to know they're going to constantly repeat the same thing. They're going to, in fact, keep repeating the process of killing people like animals and getting away and doing it. And yes, getting rid of people. So that they need to, in fact, die. Because, see, to traumatize people in the way some of these people be traumatizing them before they take their last breath. It's to say them type of individuals, yes, the people that's going to die is in fact sometimes dying a slow death. My neighbor, when I said that she was in fact beat to death, beat in her doorway and drug in by a crackhead or whatnot. And then her husband was beat half to death and he had to go to a hospital where he later ended up dying. That's a slow, painful death to endure blows, bodily blows and all that for no reason. No point of nothing at all. And it's not to serve and rescue nobody is what I'm trying to say. That's a painful death. Any of them people need to in fact die off. All of them. Even these kids. Because it's getting out of hand. And not only that, internet is in fact making it worse. Internet is in fact making it worse. People be doing all type of stuff. Oh, well, I'll, just, I'll just go out here and act like a killer clown. Well, I, I'm hoping while you're killing somebody, you in fact are saving somebody as well. That's, that's off balance. You don't do one thing and then not do the other thing. You don't say I'm going to kill somebody and then save and then forget to save somebody. Those two go together. <laughs> I'm saying killing and saving should in fact go together or something. As in make up for what you done messed up in. Make, make up for what you done messed in. If a life be taken, then to save a life. But they ain't going to take... Losers ain't going to never take no time to do that. Which is why they're losing losers to begin with. The more I go as a months pass by and a years pass by, I'm becoming to hold no sympathy for any of these child murderers. None. Be killed off. They're losers. Sorry at that. Because I'm thinking there, there's no reason. And, and some of this is not in fact mental illness. All this child killing. See you can use an excuse like the boy when I was speaking about him. He in fact had a reason. There was some mental situation going on. Because to lose both parents is to say there's in fact a problem. He had some type of mental issue as well on top of that. So to have a mental issue and then both parents die. That's to have three different situations right when he was pulling out rifles and went and shot up that school, that's a whole different, completely situation, right? The system is something with that where somebody should have went and took and played the role as mother to him. Him shooting up that school before he even got there. Somebody should have and played the full-blown motherly role to that. To intervene on that, right? But you got many child killers that are in fact not mentally ill. You got many of them that they want to kill because they feel they can get away with it. Which is why many of them, in fact, do kill. You don't hear nothing about them before it happened all of a sudden. I'm saying they, they go to school, they do this and that, go do school, work, whatever, right? And then next thing you know, something pop off where they just kill everybody in the room or wherever. Not pertaining to schools or even that, but... You walk in the room and they just kill everybody, right? And you be like, well, how did that happen? They wasn't whatever before. Because they felt that they could get away with it. They, in fact, felt that they could get away with that sort of thing. And so, if people got to be killed in pain and all that other stuff, it's to kill them off as well. I don't care how old they are, kills. It's getting to the point where there's no more excuses being made, even on my end, about that.
because it'd be suffering coming out on the end. I'm saying for people that when they ain't got when they kids and they ain't got no mental illness and they just killing for the hell of it, you in fact need to die. That that is in fact they need to be put to death because that's that's not gonna work. If everybody else has to be right by law, is to say you gotta fall in line as well. That that's just common sense. I shouldn't have to sit and obey all this other stuff and yet you don't have to what type of sense does that make that ain't gonna make that ain't gonna ever make because if one of my family members was doing that sort of thing they would be told as well too well i'm sorry dear cousin but you in fact gotta be put to death that in fact has to happen because you ain't playing your game and your cards right you in fact gotta die where's capital punishment or something something needs to be done even pertaining to letting loose on that as in letting it go you ain't doing right and leaving people to be suffering that that's not gonna work because that's that's too animal i myself can in fact be animalistic at times and yet i would rather kill somebody off for my safety purposes and not just be killing people just for the hell of it that that's not gonna work and then you got grieving families and all that left behind how, how is that going to work Okay, so a child didn't do nothing and they're innocent or whatnot and you just choose to be stupid and and take a life of somebody. Like, are you serious? That That's not going to even work. Some of these kids ain't even allowed to be able to reach their full potential. Be able to reach their full potential because somebody done went and killed them randomly. I just don't agree with that. They don't have no respect. I mean, they could be rebels like me, but to be a rebel is to do it right. Come out the courthouse as in reverse the tape as in don't kill in the first place. Be a rebel and do something where you can help people that can't speak on their own. I'm saying these punks right here, which is what they are. To be a rebel is to do something that in fact yes serve somebody something good and not just be killing that that's that's stupid I, I just get an attitude all over again what's the point in that so i think i'm gonna end this out but i'm just saying that's not me once again that's not me saying that the kid was a killer of um jolie that's not me saying that and me showing these videos and yet you don't ever even know these days. You you just don't. Because so much stuff be happening. The shock. The shock. It's like you're almost getting to a point where you ain't even becoming shocked no more because so much stuff is happening. You're almost getting to a point where you don't even know what to think, consider, or believe anymore. There go his face again. He's a loser as well. I wonder what led to that. That's sad in itself because a kid a kid should be playing a kid's role, I'm thinking. And yet to not is to go to jail or something. That, that ain't gonna... Oh, I just played that. Didn't I just play that? I showed it. This young boy killed his whole family. He killed his whole family and now he wants to sit here crying about it or whatever. Let me see something. Is this even real? This is probably a fake video. Is this or is this not a fake video? Let me see something right quick. Because that don't even look real. Oh, it's not real. I thought it wasn't real. Because I'm like, that don't even look real. Because I'm like, well, didn't they say he killed his whole family? So why is his family still standing there? That's off the hook. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this video out. That mother. Let me see this right quick. Wayne County is in fact Detroit. 
Wayne County Jail prisoner. I'm going to end this video out. This woman ain't no joke. She put her kids in the deep freezer, body in the deep freezer. Hold on, let me see something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check back in on that. So I think that's all to be said about that, about that teenager, cause I'm still thinking, I'm still side eyeing him. I'm saying I should side eyeing people that in fact need to be side eyed. That just makes better sense. It truly does. The crying feed. I'm gonna have to get in on that too, as well as as in putting some news on here through directly from the crying feed because that in fact lightens up my spices up my channel as well. I just have a lot of stuff going on. Oh my gosh, my foot sleep. It's all type of goodies for you on the crying feed. If you don't know, if you don't know, I'm showing you in recognition of that the crying feed. So, with you being a viewer, if you ever made it through this far, some people don't, they in fact fall off halfway <laughs> through my videos because I, I did say I like them in long form. I like er to do everything long form. I just do. I'm owed. I like to put in that work and that detail. I don't like to be a cop out. As in choose to be a failure with anything that I do. I like to come correct, specific, and precise. with that so I'm trying to think what else with the 13 year old there's quite a few questions you can ask I don't know if I I think because see I don't want to get too carried away long drawn out and questioning him all like that right but I did somewhat slightly that 13 year old that allows you the viewer to question even him even the more so pertaining to why he was there at the park in the first place what was what could be the reason of a of a 12 13 year old being at a park despite him say being drawn to the park because that's where children love to go and yet could there be much more up underneath that i want you to figure that out the viewer i'm saying We are, in fact, on Investigation Discovery, yes. Investigation Discovery, where you can find all the good shows, the goody-goody. That's what I like to call it, the goody-goody. Today is, in fact, August 7th. Show schedules, if you scroll down, everything would, in fact, highlight for you. See that? As I go down, each thing is highlighting. If you go down further, you would, in fact, be finding your and making your way to an, a newsletter which was right here where you can sign up animal planet discovery TLC science channel it's a whole lot of things we in fact package just right for you that's in fact precise helmet it is Wednesday schedule that's my dude lieutenant Joe Kenda is gonna be on tomorrow Wednesday the 8th August 8th to be specific at 8 p.m. Let me scroll down a few so you can get in on that. Lieutenant Joe Kenda ain't a ain't no joke. If you can sit if you can sit in on 42 minutes, it's all good. Then on the 9th, August 9th, People Magazine investigates cults. Wasn't somebody on here asking me about that cults? Cults, in fact, exist. Hell, secret societies exist. I'm one of them. That's a joke, and yet it's not. <laughs> and yet it is, and yet it's not, right? The Perfect Murder. That's a good one. That comes on tomorrow at 9 p.m. Someone you thought you knew. That is good, too. 10 p.m. Did I say? No, The Perfect Murder comes on at 9. And Someone You Thought You Knew comes on at 10 Yes, cults. 
that, that is a good that in itself is a good topic something you will want to discuss in in conversation and yet not in everyday conversation because not everybody can take that sort of thing cults and secret societies and all the rest and sometimes what more information you know outside of what the public doesn't know when you work for mass media not everybody can take that disappeared that's all about individuals that go missing such as like how Jolie Musa went missing 48 hours on ID all these come on yes August 10th Friday August 10th so you know disappear comes on at 8 p.m. 48 hours on ID season 14 comes on at 9 p.m. the killer close you might want to in fact check that out get that ID go at it's good. It's, it, it ain't no recipe, but I tell you what. <laughs> I was going to say something. Let me leave that alone. Yes, disappeared once again. Follows up. So those those are all the show schedules. It hangs all the way to the 20th, Monday, August 20th. Right now, which is airing, is called Wicked Attraction. You can, in fact, click click it to watch it live and it's going to play again so I think that's all to be said for now I'll continue on the upload let me know what you think what you feel what you sense what you believe do you watch investigation discovery hell what else need to be seen on the investigation discovery a lot much more that is going to be on the way as well as in what doesn't stop investigation discovery because it gets something started like this and then it is to know millions of people is in fact tuning in and they're going to continue because crime is all about the mystery being drawn in that and science is with that it's a, it's a heavy attraction for many people could the Golden State Killer have more victims out there? I, I'm believing and guessing so. I said that the other day, and yet I wasn't on camera when I said it. Pertaining to this individual, could the Golden State Killer have more victims out there? Of course. Usually they always do. And yet that part ain't don't usually be told. Lieutenant Joe Kenda's book. You might want to cop that. The Wine Club. There's, in fact, wine too. There is. The ladies like the the ladies like to sit back and sip they wine, yes, as they watch ID, Investigation Discovery. Not many people don't know that who don't already tune in about the ID addicts. That's a fact. That's a fun fact in itself. Sit back and sip some slow wine. And I don't mean Tony Tony Tone and get down on some grooves of heartbreak and mystery and murder. Yeah, that's that's how it'd be done. So yeah. I'll be back and I'm gone in a little bit I think I need to make another video should I make up let me see something I think I do need to do a second upload I will and I will so yeah I'm gone I'll be back second upload comes next it does